early and I stayed. Yeah. I came back after that co-op. I could have just left. See, now it would be extra cool as if there were, like, nerdy towns. Yeah. So, like, at my house would be part of, like, a nerd condo. And everyone in the whole condo is, like, a friendly nerd. So it's like I live in a, an awesome college dorm with college awesome nerd action. But I, I go to work somewhere. Yep. Even better if all the nerds living in that condo were the work. And then it was just awesome. Now, I think the biggest thing is, if you have enough money, you can continue to live the college life no matter where you live. Because so, then you don't have to work as much. Yeah. Or you have enough money to get all your friends together or to travel, to go to Otakon. Is wrong. Imagine if one of us had like a twenty, uh, like a super time-consuming CEO job of millions of dollars, and the rest of us were just supported by that guy. One guy basically gets the stick, and all these other people go, woo Yeah, but then he quits, and you still have enough money to live out your day. Well, you he just had, he'd have to quit when he got enough money to live off the interest. Or form some sort of Skinner colony. Yeah, those don't work so well. But we've realized, because if you just stay in your college town, it's probably a dead end in the long run because everyone's going to leave to get you know real jobs. Real Unless jobs you get lives. everyone to stay, but then you all suffer together. Yeah, because no matter what people tell you, unless you live in a military town or a factory town, and there aren't many factory towns that have colleges anymore, you're not going to get a good job unless you do something crazy like start your own business because... Everyone has the same idea you do, yeah. and they can always hire some fresh punk kid out of college for a lot less money than they'll pay you. I remember when I was in college, I had to find a co-op, and it was so hard because I had to put limits, like, where it was. Yep. I found co-ops, like, in California, like, ding, I could have just gotten them. They would pay- we needed jobs, I looked like I need a job, and there were jobs everywhere, just not in any college town. Yeah, but if I limited myself by where, I would have gotten a job much later. I got a job two weeks after, gradu- after I was... Um, Back home. Yep. Two weeks. I've technically been employed from while I was still in school until now. Yeah. I mean, I went home. I did a little relaxing at home. You know, built a robot, did some interneting, put my resume about. I didn't even put that much effort into it, not as much as I had done previously. Yeah. Put the resume on Craigslist. You know, I got one email that was just kind of like, I wasn't even really, because it was a job involving something that I wasn't 100% about, but then, you know, I replied because someone emailed me. Now I have a job. I yeah. still have the job. And at first it, I thought... It's not so bad. Oh, this sucks, because I moved away, and I was working for IBM, and I was living out in the Mid-Hudson Valley all alone, and bleh. But then, after the initial, you know, leaving and establishing myself somewhere, once one person is established somewhere, it's easy for other people to go to the same type of area. Mm-hmm. So then one of my friends moved in nearby, and then one of my friends moved in with me, and then two more of my friends are thinking of moving into the area, and I got a friend who has, like, he stays nearby, like, far, kind of far away, but much closer than the old college town. One of these days they'll come with an idea and someone will give us money to do something. Yep. And then we can uh, quit and do that. But the best way to keep living college is to flee college and get the money and find a place to establish yourself and then reconvene. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to reconvene, though, depending on what your situation is. Yeah, we got real lucky. We found a great house. We both got jobs easily. And, of course, we're looking to the New York City area where there's a million, million, million tech jobs. million, million jobs in New York City. just sucks to live in New York City. Yeah, not so bad to live in the suburbs. I mean, we're paying not My so cousin much. just who, lives, who works in the city, she just got a, an apartment in the city with another person. And basically they've got – it's so small. It's a one bedroom. One person's in the bedroom, and they put, like, a, a wall, like, in the living room to wow. split it in half. It's so small, and they pay a lot, like, as much as we do for this whole house. Yep. But – she doesn't lose two hours a day to train. Yeah, but eventually you could telecommute, or we could start our own company. Or Definitely. I'm not keeping this job. You know, while the job itself is good, it's it's really just, you know, the time it takes to do the job that, that kills me. I, you know, I would, uh, I'm probably not going to keep it. Before I'm 30, I won't, I won't be working there anymore. Oh, definitely. I won't be at IBM when I'm 30. I can tell you that. 100% guarantee. Unless they make me some sort of crazy manager. Or Even something. if I become one of those guys who tries a business, it fails, tries a business, it fails, I, I won't. Yeah. Because a lot of people, they have great aspirations, but then they uh, aren't willing to take the risk. Mm-hmm. We are definitely willing to risk no our... Pain, uh, no our gain. Mi- we're definitely willing to risk our middle-class lifestyle for the possibility of leading an awesome life. There's no other way to lead the awesome life. We have to. Yeah. Unless we get... Or else we're basically us. saying we give up. We don't want an awesome life. Yeah, the moment we give up, we cease to have the college in us, and all that's left is the 9-to-5 husk. 
Like all your coworkers. Yeah, like most of my coworkers. Like pretty much everyone I've met in the tech industry who has worked in the tech industry for more than a few years. Hmm. Sucks. Yeah, we're not going to be that way. If we ever get that way, we'd probably just say, fuck it, and quit, and like... Do some credit card scam and then run off and do something crazy in, like, Mexico. Eh, I don't want to do something like that. Ah, uh, if it got to that point, I'd rather do that than continue to live 9 to 5 until I am old enough to retire. Eh, I just don't want to do anything where I have to run to Mexico. Oh, uh, we could run somewhere nice, like France. It's not With the, their with riots. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, do we have a, a daily sig? Not really. This was just kind of a pseudo angsty rant about how we miss college. It's not so angsty. Not really. Not really. Angsty would be like, Sato, my college days are foregone. Oh, for now I am against the LARP and I cannot LARP anymore. Oh, but secretly inside I have a strong desire to LARP. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I will not get, I will not say it. If you get one thing out of this, live action role playing, LARPing. It's Don't a cool do it. thing. It's not cool. However, it is not cool in Rochester, New York. It's not cool. It's cool. I saw a thing on TV, people doing it in Texas. They were exactly like the people in Rochester. But there are people who aren't that way. Very few, and they won't play with you because you're not as cool as they are. Well, I guess the moral is be leery of people who LARP. And stay in college as long as you can. But when it's time to leave college, fucking leave. Yeah, and, and go to college, because if you don't, you'll just be a, a dumb waste. Uh, unless you become a plumber or something, then you'll make more money than we do. Yeah, yeah, I should have been a plumber. Or an underwater welder. Ooh. Dangerous, though. Yeah, dangerous, but work for five years. I did I did realize there was one um, bad thing about being the plumber. Huh? The poop. Yeah, yeah. A fine, electrician. Yeah. There's no poop in electricity, unless you're really bad at it. <laughs> uh... You could be doing bathroom electrician this. You know, you generally you don't put electricity into the poop hole. You never know. People want those, like, LED toilets. And that was Geek Night with Rim and Scott. Special thanks to DJ Pretzel for the music, and promotional consideration was provided by no one.